So going back to our market for low-skilled workers, we're going to examine a new concept called a price floor. A price floor is merely a minimum price that the government enforces for a given good or service. Um, now, the minimum price may be set at a point that is below the current market equilibrium, in which case the price floor has no effect on the market. You'll see here that this line representing the price floor is actually below the current market equilibrium. So the, the price will actually be higher than that. Now, um, when we're talking about the market for low-skilled workers, we're talking, and we're talking about a price floor, we're talking really about a minimum wage. So usually, um, the government tries to set a minimum wage that is above the current market equilibrium. In practice, though, often in the past, it's actually been the case that the market changes and the market equilibrium actually moves above the current um, floor for, for most categories of low-skilled workers. But in this case, let's say we choose a minimum wage that is above the current market equilibrium. So you'll notice if we find the point where the minimum wage intersects the demand curve, which represents the business's hiring, you'll notice that the quantity demanded at that price point is actually lower than the quantity demanded at the equilibrium price point. And then you look over on the supply curve, and the price sorry, the, the quantity supplied at that minimum wage is actually higher than the, um, than the quantity supplied at the equilibrium price point. So this difference here in this market is actually unemployment. Because now we have more workers looking for a job than can actually find a job. And that is the effect of a minimum price, in this case a minimum wage, a price floor on the market for low-skilled workers. Um, now it's important to remember that this is assuming ceteris paribus, so there are other effects we could examine after this initial change. Um, but the initial, the immediate effect of a price floor in the market for low-skilled workers that is above the market equilibrium is that it decreases the number, the quantity of people hired at that price point and, act, and increases the quantity of people supplied at that price point, which actually creates unemployment because unemployment is just the measure of people who are willing, who are looking for a job, who are willing to work at that given price point, but who cannot find a job.